What's going on guys and welcome to episode 8 of my Spurs career mode and to begin the episode we have Aston Villa again we played them in the Capital One Cup where we send the game we won 5-4 on penalties and we played a game in the league now against them in which we start off with a fantastic goal here Wilfred Bonny gets tackled doesn't care gets up has a shot and what a goal that is I've got four games for you today four or five I don't know it's one of the two but it's the great ball over here to Dumbia, who worst time volley right into the net. I mean, Dumbia, I've had my doubts. Like, since he signed, he hasn't been very good. Like, he hasn't scored many goals, and he's also been playing kind of rubbish. He hasn't moved around, he hasn't got the ball. But if he's going to do that, he's in the team. I've got four strikers who are all scoring goals at the moment. It is hard to shoot between them. But look at this for a volley. His pink and blue boots just hitting that lovely ball into the lovely net. That got weird. That got very weird. But Dumbia's second goal in the Premier League. I'm trying to get him more, but he can't get in. That's the how it finished. It finished 2-0. We go straight into this game here in the Europa League against Salzburg, in which I didn't play Soldado, actually, I don't think, which is what I was going to play him in. But this is a carry Kane. What a goal from the young Englishman here. He gets the ball, and he's got two defenders between him and the goal. He doesn't even care. He's like, yep, just going to come down here, and just going to slot it in the corner. It's a fantastic finish, and this, this angle proves how good a finish it was. It's right into the corner. It's not a keeper blunder. It's a great goal, and we're now winning against Salzburg. Bringington into the near the end of the second half. Get the ball to Lennon. He gives it through to Eriksen. He does a nice little turn inside. Great finish into the corner. 2-0. Going well. I think we're pretty much out of the group stage now. I think, actually, I'm... Um, 100% through I can't not go through moving in here straight away I get the ball again I'm not sure what happened here to be honest for some reason the defense has glitched out for some, I mean that, that can't be part of the game I got the ball straight away I run through and it's a, just a, it's a tap in for Dumbir again I, I don't understand that I don't get how I can get the ball so quick after scoring one goal to score another but anyway that is pretty much a goal to score and second half came through and what a goal that was what a cross what a header I mean look at this Coffee cross headers bullet header right past the keeper keeper's got no chance that's how the game finished we got a 4-0 win against Salzburg form is definitely improving from earlier in the season where we were losing to teams like QPR and Newcastle you know we were losing games like every three weeks now we're picking up points we're picking up wins and we're not conceding many goals either then we was the game against Hull in the Premier League a game I saw as a must win we start off really great here with a great goal from Harry Kane could not not play him after his performance against Salzburg and he gets through right here with a fantastic finish bit of luck it does actually come off the keeper the keeper should have probably kept this out if you look at this. Great ball through, keeps it on side, great shot. Actually, no, it's not a great shot at all. It's a, a tap, keeper gets a touch on his foot, probably should be keeping it out, but as we know, next-gen goalkeepers are just terrible. So it does go into the bottom corner, and that's Harry Kane's third goal in the Premier League. Moving on here towards the end of the game, as I believe this is 85 on the clock. Bonnie runs through, and this is a fantastic goal in my view. Squared to Dumbia, who scores once again. Bit sweaty, but, you know, career mode, you're not really going to annoy anybody by doing it. So, it's an opportunity. Plus, Bonnie was at a weird angle with a defender bearing down on him, so squaring it and getting a goal to go 2 up was great. And actually, it wasn't the worst decision I've ever made, because later on in the game, Hull gets a free kick right near the half line halfway line it's cr it's booted into the box and Ben Arthur gets on the end of it and puts it into the net Ben Arthur remember him yeah he actually got on the end of the cross and he puts it into the net two ones so that goal was definitely needed so yeah that game ended 2-1 and I'm glad I did sweat it because if I'd have drew that game I'd have been really 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 annoyed Ben Arthur comes through here grey header got a fault Larice there gotta be honest but that is how the game finished and we were straight into this game here against Stoke right near the end of the game it's 86th minute what a cross from Vertonghen and what a finish once again from Dumbia. 
He is the guy in form at the moment. I can't fault him whatsoever. He has been the best player actually probably in my team recently. He's scoring the goals and he's playing better than he was at the beginning of the season. So I can't really deny him that he's playing well. And he's finally doing I think I've bought him for like 20 million as well. So he's finally starting to pay off that. Looking at the league table right now, we see we are actually in fourth now. The league, the league table looks so weird. Stoke, Newcastle, Everton, and us at the top four. We're only four points off top, but we're doing well. So hopefully this uh, good run of form can continue. I'm going to sit down and record some more soon. I'm not 100% sure when this will be actually uploaded, but when it is, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do leave a like. It does help me out a lot. Please leave a comment while you're down there. And also, if you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. But for now, guys, I'll see you in the next episode of my Spurs Curry Mode.